Hey Morphos, it's Andy Morphs. In this video, let's take a look at the Red Magic 5 and the triggers that are on the top that help with mobile gaming, including Stadia and, well, xCloud and, and any of the ones that you can get on your phone. To be able to use your triggers, you switch the phone into gaming mode, which is just a click, toggle, quick, toggle, okay which starts the fan up and when it's not in lock mode we have the red magic and the layout that you would expect okay then once we've done that once we've launched the red magic and we've clicked on whatever game it is that you've you've loaded on with stadia it asks you whether you want to connect your controller your stadia controller or any other controller by the way use or you try the touch gamepad which is what you do to get your triggers working that's that's the first step so click try touchpad and then you get your overlay of your touchpad now you need to take note of where all the little things are but and it is clear when you're doing it or it depends on the game however once we've launched the game if you just swipe right on your red magic 5 you need to click the shoulder triggers Aha, that's right shoulder triggers then you need to position where you want your triggers so for this game I want the L2 and R2 because that's the brake and the accelerator so position them right get it all lined up you can just see like I say in this example where R2 is so whatever it is if you're playing a shooting game you want to be triggered on your shooting it's really personal preference but it's it's very responsive very responsive as you can see here if you click as soon as you tap it's it's activated and it's pressure sensitive as well it's or it seems to be yeah you so you can alter your touch sensitivity from low not from low normal and high so i am new to touch screens i am a boomer just so you know and i do sometimes just want to press the screen rather than the touch pad it's uh, I, uh, it, no excuse. <laughs> now, as we can see, right, this works pretty well. Apart from the fact that I'm just useless at touchpad. That is why I keep crashing, just so you know. It's not lag, not lag. <laughs> but if you're touching your right and your left triggers, it activates the brake, uh, the accelerator. I've set it up for, I like I say, this is all depending on what game you're playing you set up your triggers differently but there are 320 um, hertz response so they're, they're incredibly quick it is I, I, I'm more and more impressed by this thing every time I use it it's great and the fact that it is currently um, 10 to 5 and my battery is at 67% and I've been using it all day my iPhone would have been needed charging by now. It, no, to be fair, my iPhone would have needed charging about 12 o'clock if I'd have been using it the same way I use this. Guaranteed. So yes, I do crash a few times while doing this, but I think you can see from the, the responsiveness of it where this could actually be really good. Like, especially in a shooting game, you've, you, can, you can concentrate on two key bits and then use the touch pads for like moving around and such. Yes, I know I got 16. Okay, it's it's I just uh, can't help it. Okay, I, I did try again. Uh, you'll you'll see in a second. I tried again, and I got better. <laughs> I crashed less. Okay, I crashed less, but I still ended up 16. I'm better on controllers. I am. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to show you the touchpad on this. The, the shoulder triggers on this and how awesome it is. And if you like these videos, please give us a like and, you know, all the rest of the good stuff. Thank you very much and catch you in the next one. Goodbye.